What is up guys, JPR Tech here and today I'm going to be talking about probably the most important, the best accessory I have ever purchased for my Canon EOS M and that is this magnifying viewfinder that you see in the back of my Canon camera. When we're outside in the daylight, it makes it really hard to see the LCD screen on any camera and that's where this viewfinder comes into play. You're able to block off all the light and only see what's inside the screen through this viewfinder. But there are other advantages, not only being able to see outside in the daylight, there are far other benefits of getting one of these. And we're gonna get to that at the end of the video. But first, let's just go over some of the specs, uh, the design of this viewfinder, the price, and see if it's right for you. And of course, at the end, I'll let you know some of the pros and cons of just the overall experience of having an external viewfinder. So let's get started. So specs wise, first things first is this viewfinder is designed for all three inch LCD screens. So if your camera are no bigger than three inches, then you should be able to fit this with your camera. Now the Canon EOS M screen, it is, I believe, three inches, or it might be slightly smaller, and it fits perfectly fine. Another neat thing about this, uh, speaking of attaching to your screen, is that the edges of the actual viewfinder is kind of like a rubberized material, so you don't have to worry about this material rubbing up against your camera it's not going to cause any scratches or scars that's really nice of them to include that in the overall design there are screws on both sides when you assemble the thing together you put it all together so you can adjust the height of where your screen is on the camera not only that but you're also able to slide it over to the side to accommodate to where the lcd screen is located on your camera once you have your LCD screen nice and centered into the viewfinder, there are other features in this viewfinder that makes it stand out from the other cheaper ones that I found in Amazon. For example, we have a cover to protect the actual magnifying glass in there. That's really neat. So, you know, it doesn't really keep the dust out, but it just helps a little bit when you throw it in the bag. You don't have to worry about something hitting the actual glass and scratching it. So that is a big plus and I really like that. Another neat feature is that you could actually control the magnification of the actual viewfinder. So if you slide this up and down, it will move the magnifying glass up and down. Now in the case that your LCD screen is a little small, you could adjust the viewfinder to make it even bigger to fill in the whole eyepiece and that way you, ha you have the full emerge experience and not have to worry about seeing a lot of the edges of the viewfinder. So that's really neat that it's got all these little settings and features hidden within this cheap viewfinder. So it's not just an eyepiece to see the screen. It actually has a three times magnification so you could kind of blow up the L LCD screen on your camera and you could actually see the pixels in the LCD screen. That's how magnified the screen is, that you could actually see the pixels. It has helped me a lot to get pinpoint focus in a lot of my Canon EOS M videos. If you go through my channel, the first few videos that I shot with the EOS M, there were a few shots that were out of focus, and that was before purchasing this. After purchasing this viewfinder, I get over 90% accuracy thanks to being able to concentrate on the focus. Another neat feature is that this does support the quarter inch screw as well as the 3 8 inch screws. So you could adapt it or mount it into various tripods or tripod mounts, whatever the screw that you're using, it supports it. And I also like that the plate that it mounts on is actually like a quick plate shoe. So if your tripod the head mount supports this size you won't even need a quick plate a quick release plate for it you could just use the actual viewfinder as a quick release plate but i wouldn't rely on it for with heavier cameras because this is just all plastic so i wouldn't rely or trust a heavy camera on it but since i'm only shooting with this light canon eosm 
I'm okay with it. Now the last cool feature on this viewfinder is you don't have to remove the whole thing out of the camera to see the LCD screen in case you don't have the angle to view it. You could actually just hit the little lock at the bottom. It locks open like that. And there you'll be able to see the LCD screen without any magnification. You could see it from different angles, not just from the actual uh, viewfinder hole. So it's just a, a sun hood as well as a magnifying viewfinder at the same, all in one device. And lastly, let's talk about the price. Um, this cost me about 30 some dollars. It was about 3,800 yen, I believe it was, including shipping which is an equivalent of like $35. I know in Amazon in the States, you probably could find this around $30 or so, which I know it sounds a little more expensive where you could find the $15 ones, the $12 ones that are much cheaper and pretty much do almost the same thing. Well, hold your horses because there are some differences that make this a better purchase than the cheaper ones. You see the cheaper ones do not come with this extra hood feature that allow you to uh, open it up to see the LCD screen. Maybe you have a touch screen and you need to touch some of the menu settings. With this hood, you're able to do that. Whereas with the cheaper ones, you will have to remove the whole thing to get access to the LCD screen. Another benefit of having this one is again, the features I talked to you in the beginning of the video. You have control of the magnification power. You have a little cover, that co the protection cover that closes and protects the glass itself. So all these things set it apart from the cheaper models out there. Another thing I noticed is that those cheap models are usually just a little round rubber piece, whereas this one has a huge in an angle eye cup, which really helps to accommodate uh, the shape of your head. So it's actually really comfortable to use and it covers up your entire eye so you don't have to squint as much you could just see clearly your viewfinder on the other hand there are those viewfinders that are actually a little bit more expensive than this one that costs about 8,000 yen. now i don't know maybe the build quality is going to be better but other than that as feature wise they pretty much have the exact same features. You have control of the magnification glass. You have the little doors that close and protect the glass, the removal to see the LCD screen. But other than that, I don't, I, I just really don't see the benefit of uh, putting in more money on a viewfinder, but I definitely see the worth in just spending a little bit more money than the cheaper ones and getting this one. And lastly, guys, one of the biggest advantages and one of the re main reasons why I would recommend you guys to go ahead and purchase one of these viewfinders, LCD viewfinders, is to stabilize the footage. That's it, it really helps stabilize your shot a lot. You know, there's some hacks to stabilize non ibis camera. As we all know, the EOS M doesn't have any stabilization. And if you pair with a lens like my 22 mm F2 STM lens, doesn't have any stabilization at all. So footages will be really shaky, but by resting the viewfinder on your face, you're able to stabilize even non-stabilized lenses, such as the 22 mm F2, as you can see right now, is all being stabilized right here on my face and I'm even just focusing and still keep things nice and steady. Whereas if I was to just to hold it with my hands, things will be a lot shakier than what it really is. So guys, that's pretty much it. Really, um, this has been one of the best purchases I have done for my EOS M and it barely costs over $30. It was well worth the price, especially considering that not only can I see and just shoot better my overall videos, I get more stabilized footage, and especially pairing it with a uh, lens that is has the stabilization, that like the 15 to 45 kit lens, it almost looked like my shots are being standing still on a tripod. I even got questions from uh, people asking, how do you stabilize your footage? And this is it. This is like the best thing to stabilize your footage. So guys, if you found this video helpful, uh, I really appreciate your support by just smashing that like button, sharing it. And uh, thank you so much for watching. 
If you have any questions, any comments, leave them down below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.